And now Martha's... Jonna, that's uh, Cody Johnson and Dirt Cheap. Good morning. Welcome to a Thursday morning. It is the fourth day of April. Hope all is well with you. It's Ramen Noodle Day today, Jonna. Do you know the last time you made yourself a ramen noodle pack? I had ramen noodle a day before yesterday. Did you? Yes, I did. Are you being serious? Yeah. Like the actual ramen brand, like where you I, stick I it in the water you know, and noodle? My wife said, what do you want to eat? And I said, I ramen, ramen noodles. Ramen, yeah, sure. when, I, when I want to cheat and I like want to make myself like the like pho, you know what I mean? Pho? The Vietnam Stop pho. Stop saying that. That's what it is. Stop People call that. it pho, but it's Stop pronounced pho. Stop saying that. I use ramen. I cheat. So that's, that's what I do. It's a burrito day. Oh, is it? got a story about burritos. I, I do, it's but carrot, I'll keep it to myself. Carrot day, Doesn't tell a I lie know. day, and vitamin C day. Have that too. We're live Take at Harbor day. Diner in Ann Arbor <laughs> City, the Cat Country, Joe and John of Breakfast. Uh, Things you need to know. No official word yet, but it appears some sort of dog fighting ring or even something more has been broken up in Cumberland County. Yesterday, dozens and dozens of law enforcement agents raided a property on Route 49 in Morris River Township. Oh, Humane wow. Society crews were seen carrying lots of dogs from the scene. <gasps> we're waiting for a statement to be released from law enforcement officials, hopefully oh, later today. I hope they're all okay. Gas prices across the Garden State are lower than the national average right now, but analysts say... It's short-lived. They're going to rise soon. The price for a gallon of regular gas in New Jersey currently stands at $3.26, well below the national average of $3.53. Been to a 7-Eleven in Cinnaminson lately. Police say to be aware of skimming devices. Uh, they found one at a checkout register at a 7-Eleven on Route 130 in Burlington County. Uh-oh. A skimmer can be attached to a credit card reader at a cash register so it can capture card information. Police say the skimmer was on the card reader for 10 days. Dang. South Jersey weather, a little sun possible this morning. More rain Coming back for the afternoon, a high of 55. On the way, we're live at Harbor Diner in Egg Harbor City. The Joe and Jonna Breakfast. Three mornings with Joe and Jonna. We're live at Harbor Diner in Egg Harbor City. They open at 7. We're here for the Joe and Jonna Breakfast Tour. We're going to take a moment here for Jonna's fangirl update on Cat Country 107.3. Here we go. Here we go. The 2024 CMT Music Awards have announced presenters for this year. The list is loaded with country artists as well as standouts in music, TV, and entertainment. We've got Carly Pierce, Cody Johnson, and Jelly Roll. They're going to present various trophies to their fellow country artists. We'll also see Megan Maroney, Mickey Guyton, and Parmalee, too. Several actors and actresses are going to be in attendance as presenters. Billy Bob Thornton and Emily Osmond, Emma Roberts, and James Vanderbeek. There you go for all the uh, Dawson's Creek fans. They'll, they'll appreciate that they're going to take the stage. The list is even bigger than that, too. Check out the complete list of CMT presenters up now at catcountry1073.com. Jelly Roll has had some pretty incredible fan experiences while out on his back road baptism tour this year. His favorite, though, ooh, it's hard to not get emotional with this one, was when he shouted out a Vietnam vet that he was noticed was in attendance at one of his shows in Las Vegas. So the vet wound up saluting the whole stadium, and Jelly Roll said it made his whole night. We've got a video of that exact moment, too. Jelly Roll got emotional. It was cute. It's up now on the Cat Country 107.3 app. That's Jonna's fangirl update on Cat Country 107.3 app. It's Cat Country 107.3 mornings with Joe and Jonna. The Cat Country Joe and Jonna breakfast tour continues. We're at Harbor Diner in Egg Harbor City. They actually opened at uh, 7 o'clock this morning. We'd love to see you here. They got a bunch of uh, $10.73 breakfast specials today 1073 get it 1073 uh, among the specials for ten dollars and 73 cents today including coffee and juice sausage gravy or a biscuit served with hash browns cream chip beef with toast and hash browns uh, eggs any style two eggs any style with your choice of meat hash browns and toast their famous harbor omelet and even banana foster over pancakes those are some of the ten dollar and 73 spe- cent specials at harbor diner here in egg harbor city they open at seven we're joe and jonna we're here live joe and jonna the joe and jonna breakfast tour continues we're live at Harbor Diner in Egg Harbor City. They open at 7 o'clock. We'd love to see you here. It's time now for your Cat Country Joke of the Morning. We do this every weekday morning at this time. You can phone in your joke ahead of time at 609 383 Or you can uh, get us your joke on the uh, Cat Country 107.3 app. Just hit that uh, message us button. Jeff in Tuckerton has sent us the joke we used this morning. Thank you, Jeff. A small boy was lost at a large shopping mall. He approached a uniformed policeman and said, I've lost my grandpa. The cop said, well, what's he like? The little boy replied, uh, Crown Royal Whiskey and women with are live at Harbor Diner in Egg Harbor City. They open, open for business at uh, 7 o'clock this morning. We'd love to see you here. Our big cat is out front. You can't miss her. We're going to see a little sunshine, I think, this morning before the rain comes back this afternoon. It looks afternoon. like it's peeking through. It looks like they're, like, I don't know if I would say blue skies, but it's not raining. You know, so that's a good news. You have in mind. I know. It, it looks uh, more it's, like gray. 
Yeah, All it's right. not blue, but it's not raining. Coming up at 7.15, our Joe and John a question of the day. We've already had some great answers already. We'd love to hear from you. Best way to answer us is on the Cat Country 107.3 app. Hit the message us button. Here's the question. What's the most expensive item you've ever uh, ordered on a restaurant's menu? That's really, I mean, you can't really look at me for that because I always ball on a budget. But, like, I guess, like, if ball I. Ball on a budget. Yeah. For me, I have, I guess, like, surf and turf. I have ordered that before. I had that for my 30th birthday. So, and I, I'm pretty sure that was, like, the first time I've ever ordered it. And how much it. was that? Like, I don't like 40, 50 oh, something, that's maybe. Too bad. That's yeah. Not too bad. It was like lobster we're, and we're, steak. We're, and we it have was some, really good. some great answers already about some very expensive meals. Uh, we'd love to hear from you. What's the most expensive thing you've ever ordered in a restaurant and, and how was it? How was it? Let us know on the Cat Country 107.3 app at the message adjust button. We'll talk about that coming up at 7.15. It's the Joe and Jonna Breakfast Tour, Cat Country 107.3. Joe and Jonna, the Joe and Jonna Breakfast Tour is underway. Stop number three. We're at Harbor Diner in Egg Harbor City. A lot of nice people here already. They, they, they came in early. I know they came in early, but it's seven o'clock and we had people here to meet us already. So we're really excited about that. And we're excited about breakfast. Yes, I know. You want, you want the banana banana foster. foster. Yes. It's a special that they have today for $10 and 73 cents. Get it? 1073, 1073. Although although I'm I'm in a diner and every time I'm in a diner, I get a Reuben. Yeah, I know. So you're going to betray your own self today. But I mean, bananas foster substitute is, (laughs) is pretty solid, I would say. But I do have a, I do have a game that I want to play with you, Joe Kelly. Okay. Are you ready for this? Okay, so I have famous breakfast slogans okay. that date all the way back some of these to the nineteen fifties. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna start you off. We're gonna start off slow this morning. We're gonna start off with two. Okay. Okay. And these are now these are all mixed. There are cereals in here. We've got breakfast items, things that you use to cook breakfast. So you're drinks. gonna give me the slogan, I have to guess the Yes. Okay. okay. Are you ready? Here's your first one. Here we go. I feel like this we can start off easy. I feel like this one's kind of simple. Magically delicious. Lucky Charms. Yes, yeah. there you go. That okay, I, I got to check that off. That was an easy one. Yeah, that was. All, that don't, not all these are going to be that easy. Okay, so I put two stars next to that because you got I'm that one right. I'm to these coffees because, you know, I don't No, really you drink don't drink coffee. coffee. Yeah. I should have put coffee on there. Right. Man, I missed out on that one. Okay, a world of baking in a box. A world of baking yep, in a box. This one's hard. And this is this something with from, breakfast? Yep, and it's from the 60s and 70s, so you should <laughs> get it. I would have never known this. I'm kid. not going to lie. But I was but, like, let me do some fun stuff. A world of baking in a box. What do you bake for breakfast? A world of baking in a box. You use this uh, to make a breakfast like item. Like Bisquick kind of thing? Oh, yes, it's yeah. Bisquick. Good job. Look at you go. That's because I can't think of anything else that you yeah, can use to Bisquick. Things you need to know this morning. No official word from the officials yet, but it appears some sort of dogfighting ring or something much more has been broken up in Cumberland County. Uh, Yesterday, dozens and dozens of uh, law enforcement officers raided a property on Route 49 in Morris River Township. We understand this morning uh, from listeners that uh, they're still on the scene. Humane Society crews were seen carrying lots of dogs from the scene. We're waiting for a statement to be released from law enforcement officials sometime today. So sad. I hope all the dogs are okay. In other news, gas prices across the Garden State, they are lower than the national average right now. We never see that, right? But soon, they will rise. That's according to analysis. The price of a gallon of regular gas in New Jersey right now, it currently stands at $3.26, well below the national average of $3.53. So there's that. Have you been to a 7-Eleven in Cinnamon lately? Police say to be aware of skimming devices at checkout registers after one such device was found at a 7-Eleven store on Route 130 in Burlington County. A skimmer can be attached to a credit card reader at a cash register so it can capture card information. Please say this skimmer was on the card reader for 10 days oh. from March 22nd through April 1st. It's a long time. Tap your South, card. South Jersey weather. We're getting teased by a little sunshine this morning, but we're expecting rain again this afternoon. High temperature of 55. We're live at Harbor Diner in Egg Harbor City. The Joe and John Breakfast Tour continues on Cat Country 107. We have confirmed that thing in the sky is in fact the sun. Cat Country 107.3 mornings with Joe and John. It's our Joe and John Breakfast Tour. We're live at Harbor Diner in Egg Harbor City. We even brought Bella today. She's out front. I know. She's out front looking beautiful because it's, I said, remember I said it looks like it's trying to get blue out there? And I think we are going to see it for a little bit today. So she looks beautiful. Until it rains this afternoon. Sorry, Buzzkill. Thanks. We're going to be here until 10 o'clock this morning. Come and see us. You can win Carrie Underwood tickets or a Carrie Underwood trip to Las Vegas to see Carrie Underwood at Resorts World in Las Vegas. So we will throw you tickets, but it's more of like a whole trip. We also have uh, tickets.
to the Barefoot Country Music Fest. And uh, Sydney Herrera, who is from right around here, she's from Sweetwater. She went to Cedar Creek High School. She stars on that Fox TV show, Farmer, Farmer Wants a Wife. Wife. And she's so sassy. I love it. Well, she, that, uh, episode she's the tonight, best. Big episode coming tonight. We'll see if she can. She's probably not allowed to, but we'll see if we can get some inf- we'll, information. We'll, we'll from push her. a little bit. Maybe maybe Mitch the farmer will be here as well. Oh, wouldn't that farmer. be awesome? Yeah, we'll see what happens. Uh, she brings him to meet her favorite people, Joe and Jana. That would be great. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's birthday time on Cat Country 107.3. Here birthday we go. Shout outs. Happy birthday to Kim Bachman. Patricia Malley of Galloway is 60 today. Catherine Sutherland is 42. Jack Glaster III of Edgar Township has a birthday. Colleen Dunn is 61 today. Happy birthday. Bettina Patrick celebrates today. It's Rachel Webb's birthday. She's 36. Nicole from Waretown is 39. Coach Brandon Williams of Deptford is 35. And Jeanette Tesorio. We pronounce that right. Tesorio. Yes, that too. Happy yeah. birthday, Jeanette. We missed you. Happy one to you as well. The recipient of our Cat Country Big Birthday shout out today, Patricia Malley of Galloway. Woo! She's it's Cat Country 107.3 mornings with Joe and Jana on what looks like a beautiful morning here in South Jersey. I know, but then you keep reminding me that it's going to be gonna rain this nasty afternoon. this afternoon. So well, I'm like, son, don't go. It's our Joe and, jo- jo- Joe and Jana breakfast tour. We're live at Harbor Diner in Harbor City right on the White Horse Bike. You'll see uh, Bella out front. Come on in. Uh, they've got a lot of $10.73 breakfast specials. Get it 107.3 yeah. today, yeah. including banana foster pancakes. Which Joe's looks counting down the minutes so he can actually order. Well, they officially <laughs> opened about 20 minutes ago and we're, fi- we're starting to the smell of the the food coming out. So that Joe's just trying to let you know he's hungry. drooling right now. <laughs> so so we have a Joe and John a question this of the day this morning it has to do with food. Of course what's, it does. What's the most expensive restaurant dish you've ever ordered, and how was it? Bobby McLean said he had an eight pound lobster. That's, eight pounds. I don't even know where you would get that in Maine for four hundred bucks. Oh, in Maine. Okay, yeah. I had, I had. $400. See, when I was in Maine, I, I would go. You could $400 for a dinner? No, I. For, for me? No. Are you serious? First of all, I'm a millennial. I'm a millennial. And the worst part is I'm a millennial Gen Z cusper, so I can't oh, yeah. afford anything. Whatever that is. But anyway, so I was in Maine, and I only got, like, the little, like, street food lobsters, like, when you go on, like, the piers or whatever, and they have one lobster for you. you. A lobster roll? And they do. No. That you can get a lobster, and, like, they put in, like, the hush puppies and, like, the whatever. And I think that was, like, 30 bucks. And was I thought that. Was Silvers? expensive. No, no, I thought that was expensive. And then you say it was how expensive? That it was like thirty something bucks or something like that. Mm. And then you go to you know. Well, I was the, in Bar Harbor, Maine, and I had lobster, and it was only like twenty bucks. It was actually kind of cheap. Yeah. Okay. Well, like, I feel like you went a lot earlier in time than I did. I feel like you went a couple only, years prior to when I did. I only went ago. in like twenty twenty one. Exactly. All right. All right. So yeah. So but then now <laughs> back we have in the olden saying, days. Back in the olden days. So yeah. Then, and then 400 bucks, like, geez, where yeah, did I not go? I would split that meal with, like, six people, yeah. maybe. Well, eight-pound lobster, that's huge. That's uh, what I'm saying. Uh, Jessica says she had dinner on top of the Eiffel Tower. You know where that is? Uh, thank you. Wait, what? is she talking about the restaurant in Vegas? <laughs> no, or is she talking about the actual Eiffel she's Tower in about the Eiffel Tower in Okay. France. She said she had breakfast. Uh, or, I'm sorry, she had dinner on top of the Eiffel Tower with her sister in 2007. I had to clarify. And the bill was about uh, $300 then. Okay, well, so. yeah, okay, but still, like, dividing it up, like, I've paid more than, like, for a bill, I've paid, like, $200 mm-hmm. before, but that's, like, mm-hmm. you know, appetizer, but we're, but we're talking salad. one dish. Right, that's what one, I'm saying. Not two people, one person, right. one dish. Um, but it's not that bad. She and her sister still split. Oh, she paid $300 for herself. Got yes. you. Got um, you. That's insane. Oh, uh, I was for two. Uh, I so, had, 150 each. I, I had some... Back in the days when I used to gamble a lot, I had a lot of gamble <laughs> gambling comps. Yeah. So... I've eaten one of my favorite places to eat is Vic and Anthony Steakhouse at Golden Nugget. Oh yeah, who's that? And when I had comps, I splurged and, and got like the bone in ribeye that was oh. uh, well over a hundred. Jeez, Joe Kelly, Bix, but do you still get those comps? <laughs> no. Been holding out on us? No, apparently, it's a lot. apparently to get the comps, you have to spend still the money action. gambling. Yeah, and you got to go you broke, know. and then they yes, give you exactly. like a quarter of your money back. <laughs> That's comps. how it works. I think that's how it works. And you feel good about yourself. Yeah, you're like, oh, oh look, oh, look where all my money spent. I spent, well, you know, yeah. $5,000 so and got a steak. $200 steak. Great. I, I've also had uh, uh, one of the one of the Wagyu kind of special kind of steaks somewhere in the Hard Rock in 
we actually went. Was it the one that was like gold encrusted? Remember that a couple of years ago? That went, story, no, like they no, made, they no. put gold in it. No, but we we had the boss's credit card, and I think, oh, I think it was about two hundred dollars for that steak, and that was delicious. Yeah, because you didn't have to pay for it, but you paid for it, but it wasn't your money. <laughs> no, that was Joe's bo- fine spending other people's <laughs> money on card, expensive yeah. dishes, but he said yeah. I only did it at one time. Joe, listen, he said that you you said, oh yeah, I use my comps for the most expensive meal, and then the other one. <laughs> See, so you're no money. different than me. Yeah, twelve dollars is the most I've ever. Right. <laughs> You're a cheap day, too. Cat Country, 107.3 Mornings with Joe and Jonna. We're live at Harbor Diner in Anchorage City for the Joe and Jonna breakfast tour. We're seeing a lot of nice people and smelling some great food here at the Harbor Diner. I know. I'm ready. I'm going to be ready to eat, I think, sooner than I have been <laughs> on our on our past stops. I think it's just because I'm extra hungry today. But go. I'm really excited to dig in. I know you are, too. We're uh, talking this morning, our question of the day, what's the most expensive restaurant dish you've ever ordered? I can't believe you. I feel so betrayed. Why? Because. Because I didn't spend my, well, I, Yeah, you didn't spend case, your comps, own money. So it was like $17,000 for my. And then. Steak right. But like, yeah, <laughs> basically that. So I guess technically with that one, you did kind of spend yeah. money. But then the other one, you said you got like the wag, I can't even pronounce the that. Wagyu, the wagyu, like steak, fancy steak, whatever. It was like a couple hundred dollars. Yeah, but you won the boss's, boss's credit, credit card. card. Yeah. It doesn't even count. You got to take advantage where you can get Joko is like the most expensive thing I've ever had. Chicken fingers. $12. <laughs> with my own money. Oh, that's so funny. Uh, Larry Strickland said he had the five pound lobster at the old homestead, which is in uh, Borgata. Yeah. He says uh, for two, the bill was about $400 for dinner. That's, yeah, that's expensive. Uh, per person. Johnny says uh, Ballet's years ago offered a $100 hamburger in the preview bar, but it wasn't a normal burger. It was the size of a pizza. With two pounds of Kobe beef, four pounds of short ribs, four pounds of prime rib. Oh, geez. It was so big, we actually offered pieces of it to other people in the bar and, and took some home. That's so funny. You would have judged me so hard, Joe, if I would have used that. If I would have ordered that, I'd be cutting it with a fork and knife. Yes, I would. Rebecca Miller said to Gordon Ramsay Steak and Harris, she said for her and her husband, it was $400 for the bill. Woo! Yeah, that's but a lot. We've been to uh, Gordon Ramsay. For oh boss, my gosh, that's true. Joe, Joe and I people. both have, so who knows how much we spent. Well, that's true. I don't think you were there with me the time that we we, we went in uh, Gordon. Uh, not, not, no, I'm talking about Guy Fieri. Guy Fieri. Oh, yeah. You I don't think. There? I don't know if I was there for that. Yeah, Guy Fieri was actually there. No, I was not and, there for and, that. And he did a little thing with us and, and let us preview a lot of his new restaurant dishes. How cool is that? Yeah, he's a really nice guy. Yeah, that was that was pre jana time. That's a shame you weren't there. <laughs> uh, that's a shame. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, uh, Rob from Cedarville says, uh, do you know how to pronounce this? the name of this Brazilian steakhouse? Fuego. Yeah, uh, Fogo de Chao. All right, there it is. Yep. Uh, he said in Philly, $65 a plate. He said yeah. it's delicious. Can't wait to go back. It is. It's it's pricey, but what's cool about it is they keep bringing all these different meats out to you, and you're like, I'll take that, I'll take that, yeah. I'll take that, thank you. Yeah. Yeah. So what's the most expensive dish you've ever ordered in a restaurant? Let us know. Hit the message us button on the Cat, Cat Country 107.3. Mornings with Joe and John is the Cat Country breakfast tour. We're live at Harbor Diner in Anchor City. We've got Bella out front. We've got the sun shining right now, although we understand uh, more rain is in the forecast for later today uh we have a cat country morning trivia up next uh today you have to answer us on the cat country 107.3 app hit the message us button uh the first person who gives us the correct answer on the app will win two tickets to see dan and shay they're at the wells fargo center in philly next thursday so a week from today and here's the question again answer us on the cat country 107.3 app today hit the message us button you know, all we need is your answer you don't we need your name or anything like that Here's the question. 70% of people say they would change this about themselves if they could. It's something physical. 70% said if they could, they would change this uh, physical attribute about themselves. 70%. Hit the message us button on the Cat Country 107.3 app. First uh, correct answer gets two tickets. Still waiting to order breakfast. What are we going to choose? That's the big question. Uh, there's a lot of uh, specials today to choose from, so it makes it a little bit more difficult, I think. In, in the meantime, our Cat Country Morning Trivia, uh, we're asking you to answer us on the Cat Country 107.3 app. Actually, we have a, an, a winner already. The question, if you could change one thing about yourself physically, what would that be? Some of the answers are pretty good. Uh, nose, eye color, uh, voice. Voice? Teeth. Smile. Well, yeah, okay, I get that. I guess uh, I understand that. Eye color. 
the correct answer was height. Really? 70% said if they could be taller, they would be taller. You think that. So congratulations to uh, Phyllis. Yes, Phyllis, Phyllis from Ocean View. Yes. She's the first one. She's she's going to get two Dan and Shay tickets. Phyllis will reach out uh, through the Cat Country 107.3 app and give you all the information. But 70% said if they could change anything physically about themselves, it would be their height. What would you change, Anna? Um, Or should I just tell you what I would... That's really hard. No, first Answer of all, for you. no, don't ever. <laughs> um, I no, because I'm five eight, so I'm pretty tall. Um, I wouldn't change my height. Um, maybe like five seven, maybe a little shorter. Really, honestly, I you wouldn't change that other thing. I don't have anything else crazy. Honestly, I'd probably <laughs> like change if I could, like be able to not have to work so hard to like maintain weight. <laughs> like I would give myself a faster metabolism. Oh, that's probably that's what one. I would that's say. That's a good one. That's yeah. a good one. I would, I would change. I would, I would make it my legs longer. So you're taller. So you want to be yes, taller. Yes, but it would have to come from my legs because I, I, you don't want a longer torso. Is what you're saying? Yes, because growing up, played a lot of sports. And the, my my downfall was I wasn't really quick, and I think if I had longer legs, you would have been I, faster. Just yes. like if I only had longer legs, if I only had longer legs. <laughs> it's Cat Country One Hundred Seven Point Three Mornings with Joe and Jonna. The Joe and Jonna Breakfast Tour continues. We are live at Harbor Diner in Egg Harbor City, right on the White Horse Pike. We did get a winner in trivia. Seventy percent of people say they could change anything about themselves physically. They would be taller, taller. I understand that. Uh, we want to say thank you to Ann Carey and uh, Kelly from Sweetwater. Ann said on Facebook and Kelly on our app, both suggested we try the biscuits and gravy here Ooh. at Harbor Diner. So that sounds Maybe good. Maybe we'll have to uh, get a little, do a little We're have to order soon. split split situation there. Thanks to Josie. She's an Uber driver. She was just here this morning. And she said, by the way, cash cow comes up in a half hour. She said when she's driving somebody around in the Uber and the cash cow code comes up, she hands them a piece Pays of paper, paper and a so they can said, write it down. Write down the code for me. I love that. <laughs> first <laughs> what chance, a great time. First chance to win. She's great. Cash coming up at 820 this morning. It's Cat Country. Three things you need to know this morning. No official word yet, but it appears some sort of dog fighting ring or something a lot more has been broken up in Cumberland County. Yesterday, hundreds of law enforcement agents raided a property on Route 49 in Morris River Township. We're getting reports from listeners this morning that uh, officers are still on the scene of that property. Humane Society crews were seen carrying lots of dogs from the scene. We're waiting for a statement to be released from law enforcement officials later today. That's so sad. Obviously, we hope all the dogs are okay and are going to be well taken care of at at this point, gas prices across the Garden State, they are lower than the national average right now. You never hear that, right? But analysts say they're going to rise soon. The price of a gallon right now, a gallon of regular gas in New Jersey, it's $3.26. But the average in the whole U.S. is $3.53. So there you go. Been to a 7-Eleven in Cinnaminson lately. Please say to be aware of skimming devices at checkout registers after mm. one such device was found at a 7-Eleven store on Route 130 in Burlington Ta- County. A skimmer can be attached to a credit card reader at a cash register so it can capture card information. Please say this particular skimmer was on the card reader for 10 days. That's a long time. Tap your card. At the store from March 22nd through April 1st. To be safe. South Jersey weather, a little sun possible this morning. Rain for the afternoon today, high about 55. Coming up, we're live at Harbor Diner in Egg Harbor City. The Joe and Jonna Breakfast Tour. Three one seven point three mornings with Joe and Jonna. The Joe and Jonna Breakfast Tour continues. We're in Egg Harbor City at Harbor Diner. Our thanks to uh, Atlantic City International Airport and Clark's Moving and Storage for bringing us the uh, breakfast tour this year. And we're having a lot of fun here, meeting a lot of nice people. Hi to Luca. He was just in. In he came in to see us on his spring break. Yes, lucky yes. duck. By the way, in nine minutes, we have your first cash code. Cash cow code of the day could be worth up to thirty thousand dollars we're happy to welcome to the show this morning sydney herrera she's from nearby sweetwater she went to cedar creek high school and she's a tv star yes she is we're rooting for her currently on the fox tv show farmer wants a wife sydney thanks for joining us thank you for having me and we're going to ask you a lot of questions you'll probably say i'm not allowed to answer that because the show is still going on Mm -hmm. i'm ready what's it like for you now this was this was actually filmed how long ago um it started filming the last week of september okay and it's been done since It's been done since uh, the end of November. Is the show completely over? Do you go back for a final episode or everything is done? We filmed everything. We do have a reunion Mm -hmm. after the final episode. That's going to be messy. You already know if your farmer Mitchell chose you. Yes, I already know. So tell us. (laughs) She's not going to. No, don't do that to her, Joe Kelly. (laughs) Don't get her in trouble with Fox. So the the episode that just aired, there's an episode tonight. The episode that just aired, they brought in this other 
chick. Yeah. <laughs> and she wanted simply. You should see her face right now. Well, I saw her this face is, on the show. I like, know. What's going on here? This is the best part. Okay, so they brought in this other girl, and I'm just I'm gonna be the first one to say it. Sydney, okay, we saw that sass girl. We saw it. How hard was it to keep the jersey in? It was really hard. They definitely knew I was not happy, but I was like, "Oh, my whole my whole family's going to see this. My grandmother's going to see this. If I act crazy, like I'm never going to hear the end of it." There's no way that I, I know. So I will applaud you for like keeping it PG, but just the fact that and if you didn't see the show, spoiler alert, sorry. Um she was the first one to speak up about like her disdain, I'll say, <laughs> about the fact Hatred. that he's bringing in this other girl and she was just like basically she immediately just like clapped back do you think that anybody else would have like spoken up if you didn't be honest you're from jersey we, we all know we get it be honest i think the girls were just so annoyed they honestly didn't even want to see him so they didn't really have anything to say but me i was like i had a great nap i was sleeping i was i had the best nap right before he walked in i thought we were getting a cow um my day was great and then he walks in with this girl and i'm like oh gosh that stinks. She said, gosh, you know that's not what she was thinking. She's from right up the road, okay? She was like, this, uh, can't say it, because we'll get sued by the FCC. So what, what, so they bring this other girl in, and did you guys, like, afterwards, I mean, I know we saw what we saw on camera, but, like, powwows off camera? Like, what did we not see? Did you beat her up off camera? <laughs> so, <laughs> off camera, um, my two friends actually left the farm. <laughs> And stayed at a hotel. Oh and my god! So it was me, Natalie, and Mitchell all night in this one mm. house. And I'm just like, oh gosh, she was doing puzzles. I was cleaning the dishes. I was like, I can't do this. Like, that's like the cr most cringe thing I've ever heard so far. So, oh, that's that's awful. So tonight's episode, we find out if you finally get your own one-on-one -on -one date with Mitchell. Yes, hopefully I do. She's looking at her. She's so slick. I love it. Hey, and she's like, and that's all I'm going to say. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's definitely a, a good episode. And it's definitely probably going to be one of my favorites. Mm -hmm. So there you go. There you go. How many Did more you episodes? get the cow? We never got a cow. Oh. I yeah. I guess <laughs> she said, I guess she was and stopped herself. That's great. Cat Country 107.3 Mornings with Joe and Jonna. It's uh, the Joe and Jonna Breakfast Tour. We're at Harbor Diner in Hanover City. We're talking with Cindy Herrera. She's from nearby Sweetwater. She's on the Fox TV show Farmer Wants a Wife. How many more episodes are there? I have no idea. Oh, I really? believe the final episode is May 9th. Okay. So we got a couple more weeks of this. That's good. We'll see the Jersey sass come out representing South Jersey well. I love it. Now, <laughs> before you start doing the show, let me try to ask this right. Somebody's going to end up with Mitchell. Yes. In, in some way, shape, or form. And I, I guess before you started the show, you had agreed to all this secrecy that you can't because you know what happened mm -hmm. yeah. but you can't if you if mitchell picked you he can't walk in here and sit down next to you yeah it's and, and yeah. probably another guy you can't date another guy either exactly if he, so if he didn't just, pick me i can't even date right so now you just have to be alone for six months exactly wow <laughs> that, that's so, a lot so that's just, a tell lot. Us, just tell us what happened <laughs> how has this how has this tv show changed you being on tv um, it's definitely been an eye-opening experience. I've been able to like visit a lot of places, meet a lot of mm. new people, and also um, I think it's very interesting to see how people react like around my hometown right. and how like people kind of treat me differently. Like some of it's bad, some of it's good. You know, it's mm -hmm. it's just in interesting to watch it all play out. Is this the real you we're seeing on TV, or is this the acting you? No, this is definitely the real me. I feel like when I went on it, I was like, I might as well be 100% myself because who cares if they don't really mm -hmm. like it? It's going to come out anyway. Exactly. You are who you are, and you're from where you're from, and yeah. I said it. <laughs> would you be interested in pursuing something else acting-wise in the future? No. no? I would absolutely <laughs> not. This is definitely... Uh, once, once in a lifetime, I don't don't think I would ever do anything like this ever again. <laughs> but it's a light. It's a. But it is. It's a. It's an experience. Like, yeah. like you'll never get this again. So it's like it's it's such a cool part of like your own personal journey. I'm sure. Yeah, I'm like I'm ready to delete all my social media <laughs> and just live my life honestly. <laughs> On a farm with Mitchell, maybe, maybe, <laughs> maybe. Our fingers are crossed, though. Hopefully, Sydney. Thanks for joining us. Yeah, thank you for yeah. having me. Who who watch? Do you watch the show by yourself? Do you watch it with family and friends? Uh, I watch it every week with my family. All right.
It's on tonight. Oh, that's awkward. She's got she's got guts. Uh, Sydney Herrera is going to stick around with us. We'll talk more with her in a few minutes. But it's first time for your cash cow code. It's your chance to win up to thirty thousand dollars in cash ten times every day at twenty minutes past the hour from eight twenty to five twenty. We give you a code. When you get the code, go to the Cat Country one hundred seven point three app. Put the code in, and you can win free money. You're going to have a great day today. I can feel it. This is your moment. So I think for, we're ready for it. Here's your code for this hour. It's two four two two four two. That's what's going to hook you up with hopefully $30,000. That's like a down payment on a house and like maybe a boat thrown in there, which is perfect timing because summer's right around the corner. 242. You're just going to plug it in to the cat. Three mornings with Joe and Jana. We're joined by Sydney Herrera. She's from Sweetwater, graduate of Cedar Creek High School. She's on the Fox TV show Farmer Wants a Wife. There's a pivotal episode tonight. We find out if Sydney finally gets her one on one date with the Farmer Mitchell and you're not going to tell us what happened, are you? No, she's not. <laughs> no. <laughs> We kind of expected that. Would you recommend for people who are interested to be on a real, reality show like this? Is it fun? Is, has it been a good experience? I definitely had a great experience. I got to meet a lot of new people, see new places, and it's not as pressured as something like The mm. Bachelor. So it's like not really as anxiety filled. So I would de- I would definitely recommend it. I love it. How long did it take you to get used to cameras being there seemingly all the time? Probably. A few hours, actually. Really? Really? Yeah, because they're just always there, mm-hmm. and you're like, whatever. How big of they a become crew? like the wallpaper, how big essentially. Of a, how big of a crew is there? Um, on my farm, for the five girls, there was probably 35 people. Oh, my God. That's still a lot. <laughs> oh, yeah, I would get woken up and just people in and out. Really? Filming. Wow. Mm-hmm. So we got a game for her, her to play? Jill? Yes, we do. So have, so have you ever heard of Mad Libs? I don't think so. Okay, so Mad Libs is a game where it comes in uh, like a packet and you have to give like noun, a noun, verb, adjective, all the things. And then it goes into a story and obviously you don't know. I'll, I'll tell you what they are. That's you're, why she's hearing like, she her explain Ad Libs is just worth the price Mad- of admission. <laughs> Well, numbers. she's never played it before. So, so I basically, so, okay, so we're, you're going to hopefully be, um, be good at English, but so <laughs> you're going to be fine. You're going to be fine. Well, language arts, I should, should say, obviously she speaks English, but language arts. So I'm going to ask you things and then it's going to go into a story. And because you don't know the context of the story, hopefully it's going to be really funny. So first we're going to ask you, I'm going to ask you this list and then we'll come back and I'll, and we'll, we'll read the entire story based on Sydney's answers. Okay. So here we go. Number one, I need a girl's name. Um, Kate. 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 Okay. Got to type in Kate. Oh, my God. She has to type in the answers. Kate. Yeah. Okay. Uh, U.S. State. U.S. State. Um, Arkansas. 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 I have, see, I have to spell it out, so I'm no better. We're Joe and John. It's our breakfast tour. We're live at Harvard Diner in Anchor City. We're playing Mad Libs. So I need a noun. Meaning like a person, plays or thing. Sheep. A sheep. Okay, that is a noun. We can put that in. Sheep. Okay. I need a verb, an action word, like jump, sing, swim, hops, hop. Okay. Hop. Okay. And I need another noun. Person, place, or thing. Sweetwater River Deck. Okay. Sweetwater River Deck. That's that's great. Sweetwater. Free plug for Sweetwater River Deck. Yeah, right. There you go. Sweetwater River Deck. Hey, it's her it's like basically her backyard, so that works. All right. So next up, okay, here we go. Moving on. Oh, this is like a language arts lesson for everyone listening right now. Okay, so we need an adjective. Uh, definition, please. <laughs> an adjective is a descriptive like a big word. Or red or yeah, tiny so or... like beautiful, um, uh, like beautiful, uh, wonderful. A descriptive word. Like yeah. she was ha- happily even. That's an adverb, but that'll work. Whatever. It's fine. Is sweet? That's yeah, sweet. Yeah, she yeah. was sweet. sweet. Yep, there you go. Okay, another adjective, please. How long is this mad lip? Um, uh, pretty. Pretty, pretty, there you go. We, that didn't, works, pr- we so. didn't practice this no. before the show. I need a verb, an action word. Not a plural verb, a singular, so no S at the end. Skipped? Skipped. Like there we can go. do skip. That's a good one. Okay. Uh, another verb. Um, She's only in the first paragraph. Run? Run. Sure. We got run. We got run. This we, was not in rehearsal. No. I need, okay. So I need a plural noun. So a person, place, or thing, but it, but a plural. So like, like cows, pigs, uh, horses, horses. Okay. Horses. There we go. Okay. Um, another adjective. <laughs> Descriptive. Descriptive word. Funny. Yeah. There we go. 
funny. Well, you almost done, don't you, Anna? Um, <laughs> we're like halfway done. Okay, here we go. Should we play a song and come back? You can. You can. No, go ahead. We'll Plural it. noun. Person, place, or thing, but um, S at the end. Ooh, uh, pancakes? <laughs> pancakes. There you go. That works. We're live at Harbor Diner. And Joe and John are there breakfast tour continues See, with so Mad good. Libs. Okay. Mad Libs on the radio. A boy name. Kyle. Kyle. <laughs> totally Kyle. Not as having trouble just putting the microphone in when she talks. I know. All right. Another adjective. <laughs> Funny. The you, narrative. Said, you said that. Ne- oh, my gosh. Next. I'm getting nervous. Um, uh, you can phone Joe Kelly sleepy. if you need help. Sleepy. 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 There you go. Oh, that is a good one. She ne- can always just look at the seven doors. Comes your way at 920 this morning. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Another adjective. <laughs> Um, goofy. Goofy. There you go. Seriously, how many more do we have, Jana? We have one, two, three, four. That's All it. Right. Okay. Four more. Okay. So I need another <laughs> plural noun. Um, Person, place, or thing with an S on the end. <laughs> um, cars. Waffles. Oh, waffles. Cars. Waffles. 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 Like waffles. Yeah, she completed pancakes. She said pancakes. Oh, waffles. Diner, so waffles sounds good. <laughs> okay. Um, all right, so you are, oh, you already gave us the one, cause it's just, it's the same, we have to use the same girl's name that you already gave us, so there you go. So there's that. And then, all right, so one more, or no, wait, two more. Uh, body part. Keep it, keep it PG, don't forget we're on the radio. Eyes. Eyes, okay. Um, <laughs> now, I need a phrase or quote. Famous phrase or quote. It is, it doesn't mean, it, like, it, you know, it is what it is. Seize the day. Ooh, um, We're running out of time. Uh, <laughs> give a man a fish, he eats for a day. Teach a man a fish, he go. eats for a lifetime. There, there you go. And there you can is. tell me what that is. Uh, you can read it to me again while we're playing a yeah, song and I'll don't type it in take time there. to type that. <laughs> no. All right. Are you ready to read back Sydney's no. Mad Lib? Give a man a man uh, We'll fill it in. Uh, we'll fill it in when we get fish. there. Let's get started, John. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. So are you ready? Okay, so Mad Libs with Sydney Herrera from Farmer Wants a Wife on Fox. Here we go. Okay, once upon a time, there was a girl named Kate from Arkansas who was selected to participate in the reality show Sheep Hop Sweetwater River Deck. She was sweet and pretty, ready to skip and run her way through the emotional and physical challenges ahead. In the first episode, she had to meet a bunch of horses and navigate her way through all of their very funny pancakes. She met the gorgeous Kyle. (laughs) She met the gorgeous Kyle and knew this experience was going to be one she'd never forget. Despite feeling sleepy, she managed to triumph so far, making it through goofy waffles. (laughs) However, things can change at any moment and things can take a wild turn. Kate is lucky she hasn't injured her eyes yet with all the manual labor she's done. Mm, As she always does, she rallied herself with her favorite phrase, which is what? (laughs) Give a man a fish, he eats for a day. Teach a man a fish, he eats for a lifetime. There you go, Cindy. And continues to pursue victory in the crazy world of reality TV. There it is. Helping kickstart. 